for this episode right here, like I said in the intro, we're going to be going over the Bing's Angry Kings. This is about three of the wildest inmates to come through Rikers Island. Look at that photo line right there on the screen, guys. To the far left, you got a dude named Bad Vibes. His real name is Milton Ruffin. He was a serial slasher, a predicate cutter, a red ID, all of that stuff. If you, you can see bad vibes, he's home now after serving like between 20 and 30 years, something like that. He's home now. You can see his interview on the Queen's Flip Show. He's older. That's a young picture of him. That's in 1993 um, or 96, something like that. I think it's 93. The one in the middle name is Amari Bonilla. I'm not sure what his nickname is, but I'm pretty sure he's somebody that everybody knows. And the one on the far right is Pedro Gutierrez, better known as Magoo. Between the three of these guys, they have 2,336 bing days. Wow. I'm going to get right into this article. They're the baddest of the bad. The most violent of the city's 20,000 jail inmates. The worst of the worst must be shackled when they leave their cells. And that only happens an hour a day. And even chains don't always work. Gregory Webb, a convicted killer twisted the metal handcuffs he was wearing while trying to free himself. Milton Ruffin, a.k.a. Bad Vibes, is a pint-sized inmate who shot an elderly woman during a purse snatching, has become a serial slasher in jail, and was one of the first inmates to wear the new restrictive hand mittens. Side note, Bad Vibes said on the Queen's Flip Show it was not an old elderly lady that he robbed. He said it was a man. I don't know if that's true or not, but on the Queen's Flip Show, he said that was a man that he robbed, not a woman. Ruffin was always the first inmate to destroy a pair of the mittens, which are cuffed behind the back and hooked to a belt. He rubbed the mittens over concrete until his fingers poked through the canvas. Young, angry, and remorseless, the 300 inmates housed in the ultra-secure Central Punitive Segregation Unit aka the bing they live and breathe violence the atmosphere is so charged that the bing has also seen outbursts by its staff bing inmates settled a class action lawsuit against the city alleging correction officers were beating them and violating their civil rights the fbi has begun a criminal probe the city has since recreated the bing with a new staff camera surveillance and stricter supervision of inmates and officers yet and still there were 25 slashings by inmates in the bing between march and may 25 side note 25 slashings between march and may there's a lot of slashing going on at rikers in the 90s my question is was all of these inmates walking around with cuts on their face somebody tap in the comments if all of these inmates was walking around with slashes and stuff like that, I could only imagine what was going on during this time. Inmate advocates say it's understandable. Locking people up for 23 hours a day for weeks, months, years on end is an extraordinary kind of punishment and is likely to produce violence, said Robert Ganji, head of the Correctional Association of New York. But veteran police captain Gary Tomasulo said, it's not the punishment that produces the violence, but rather a new breed of young inmates. To these kids today, taking a life doesn't mean anything. It's like a status symbol. Stitches across the face, he said. And with these interviews I've been doing, from these guys that's been in jail 20, 25, 30 years, it seemed like the most respected thing in prison is violence. The most respected thing in prison is violence. It seems like it's almost against the law to be friendly. All right, now we get into the, the individuals. We get into the individuals and some of the crime, the stuff they committed at Rikers Island. This first individual we talk about is Gregory Webb. He's not in the lineup. Age 15, he was arrested for weapons possession and assault. He's been booked at least a dozen more times for robbery, burglary, assault, sexual abuse, and gun charges. Now 29, Webb is serving 15 years of life for killing a man caught in the crossfire as Webb was still in a car in Brooklyn. 
Since his conviction in 1992, Webb has remained at Rikers Island pending trial on charges he tried to escape. That's right, this article is 96, so that means he's been there four years. He tried to escape during a court appearance and for assault. He has preyed on correction officers, earning a whopping 460 days in a bing for attacking three and even throwing his urine and feces at them. He's the inmate caught bending his handcuffs. Ruffin, who is a.k.a. Bad Vibes, who was on the Queen's Flip Show, go check him out, has been convicted of attempted murder for shooting a 64-year-old woman three times while robbing her purse. Now 22, Ruffin was first arrested when he was 13 for robbery. 13. He did his first jail time, six months, at the age of 16, for weapons possession and menacing he's been arrested six more times for assault or menacing others often children with weapons i think this man had mental problems bad vibes at the he had to have some kind of mental problem see when it comes to black people nobody mentions the mental problems they always thug gangster hoodlum no we have mental problems also it's the only thing I, only way i can explain what he was doing he has continued to be a menace inside jail he has cut an inmate on the head, slashed another inmate on both sides of the face, and slashed a third inmate while on the bus to court. So you can only imagine the tricks of the trade he knows to be able to smuggle that doggone blade, that gym star, that whatever, on the bus. Ruffin has also assaulted an officer. He faces 346 days in a bing. Another side note. I heard that the bing used to be so crowded that mother that people would have bing time over their head. You might have to do bing time, but you're still in population waiting on a spot to open in the bing. So you mess around and be chilling in population and you have bing time over your head. You mess around and get in trouble again and just keep adding to that bing time. Then I also heard that if you got bing time and you get out and you come back, you have to complete that bing time still. Tap in the comments if that's true. Tap in the comments if that's true. Now, this next inmate is Pedro Gutierrez, a.k.a. Magoo, convicted of murder and awaiting trial for assault. He is the Bing champ with the whopping 1,040 days in the Bing. It's about three years. Gutierrez, who was 23 at the time, 1996, was a member of the Trigger Finger Posse drug gang in the Bronx, when he was arrested at age 17 for armed robbery. He was arrested another five times, the last time for murder, at the age of 21 after shooting four people in a gun battle. Hold on real quick. Hold on real quick. You shot four people, you shot four people in a gun battle. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get this right. So was it you against the four people? Let me read that again. The last time he was arrested for murder at age 21 after shooting four people in a gun battle. I'm trying to figure out, was it one against four, including one who died? He was sentenced to 26 years to life. He remains at Rikers for trial on assault, stemming from the same incident. Magoo has been caught seven times with weapons. He has stabbed or slashed four other inmates and been involved in three fist fights. Tap in the comments if you know the information about Boo, uh, Magoo. If you know about him being a Latin king before he became blood. Tap in the comments if you was in Rikers with Magoo. And try to shed some light. Tap in the comments for me on this one. Because I'm hearing so many different stories about this guy OG Magoo. That's it on Magoo. This another person we got is Barcos Almonte. Better known as OG Wildcat, who was 21 in 1996. He is awaiting trial on attempted murder for shooting a man who refused to untie his dog from a fire hydrant outside a queen's apartment. A few days later, he allegedly sliced a man's ear with a box cutter after the man objected to being jostled. So he was already about that knife and stuff before he even went in. In jail, a Monty, like all the Bing's worst inmates, wears a red tag to identify him to officers as a dangerous predicate slasher. Again, 
That's OG Wildcat. That was a little write-up on him. This last guy name was Amari Bonilla. Tap in the comments if you know his nickname. I'm pretty sure he has a nickname. His name was Amari Bonilla. He has been in Rikers Island Jail since September 7th, 1993, which means he'd been in there for three years at the time this article was printed. He was in there for shooting a Marine recruiter four times in the back. Staff Sergeant Richard Rodriguez was shot while sitting on a park bench in the Bronx after he began asking questions about who had murdered his younger brother. While awaiting trial, Bonilla has racked up a whopping 950 days in the bing. In his two and a half years in jail, Bonilla, now 22, slashed five fellow inmates, twice beat up inmates, and was caught with a weapon six times. I only have one. I have a, I have a few things to say, but I have one question. What was in the water at this time during Rikers Island? What was these kids going through at Rikers Island? I heard it was so bad that these COs and stuff would let different gangs trade weapons to get different people out of the box. I also heard that some of the doggone COs, like some of the Spanish ones, I guess they had a guy named Sanchez there or something like that, would sit there and pass out knives to the different gang members, the Latin gang members, so they can go get busy and put in work. That's crazy, man. Tap in the comments if you're familiar with anything in this article. Easy win. Florida Prison Talk. I appreciate everybody, man. Signing out.